You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, folks. Chicago. Alderman Greg Mitchell was furious that a developer who plans to convert a historic office building into a 349 room hotel does not have any plans to include minorities in the $137 million project. The City Council's Economic Development Committee approved the property tax break needed to pave the way for the preservation and rehabilitation of the building that once served as a downtown headquarters of the City Colleges of Chicago. Mitchell threatened to hold up the tax break in the full City Council if the developer doesn't come up with a, sp a specific plan for minority participation by the March 18th meeting. Okay, Derek, here's what's interesting about this. Uh, according to the Chicago Sun-Times, this guy rarely talks, never really says anything. This absolutely pissed him off. <laughs> I mean, he went off and people kind of like, like, damn. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, I can just tell you, man, just uh, uh, years ago, I was a small contractor, 8A on GSA schedule. And so, you know, you look for those opportunities to come your way as a small business owner. And so most of the time when you have these contracts, that are set, they should be set aside, especially when it comes to construction contracts, they should go to minorities. Okay, and again, they have set aside there in Chicago. Mm -hmm. This developer's like, no, nah, uh, we good. And it literally could not answer. He said, what's your plan? He couldn't even answer. He said, no, 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 you're not going to come in front of this no, yeah. and you have no plan whatsoever. Well, I mean, and this is the only, Lauren, this is the only way when you talk about African Americans and economic power, this is where, where Maynard Jackson understood it. The three Bs, the ballot, the book, uh, the ballot, the book, uh, as well as the buck. Mm -hmm. How you use political power to create economic opportunities. And the bottom line is, is here, if you do not have black aldermen forcing this to happen, these white developers will come in there, keep building, never have to give any contracts whatsoever, and this is the game. Yeah, yeah, but that big... Lauren, hold on. Lauren, they there, but... No, it's true. You gotta watch the money. Obviously, where the money goes, where the money allocated, and who gets the opportunities to make that money is the whole ballgame. And Maynard Jackson did understand that, and so many African-American... So many African-American <laughs> politicians do not understand that, and as we know, Mary and Barry, of course, had the summer jobs program and literally put money into the pockets of young people all over Washington, D.C. People still remember that too. because those kids, of course, were right. helping their families pay the rent. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was huge. <sighs> Well, Ma Mary and Barry, let me tell you something else. Mary and Barry built downtown D.C. with the white developers, but he also uh, built Black Wall Street, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, black bankers who were involved in public and private finance, he put them on the deals. He, he, was, he was highly conscious of, of, of uh, the, the buck and the box and whatever mm -hmm. Roland said. He was okay, there were three Bs well, from Maynard yeah. Jackson. <laughs> I mean, two of The ballot, the book, book, and the buck. Exactly. Now, the problem is... How <laughs> many and Maynard Jackson was an alpha. Clearly, how, Cappers how don't know. How, may, how many black mayors in the top ten urban cities of this country have the courage to enforce those set-asides or those local business enterprises to make sure they get their fair share. And that's why... I would say many. none of them. It starts with Lori Lightfoot. It doesn't start with them. Right. It doesn't start right. They're with the putting council. the pressure on, on the new mayor, Lori Lightfoot, exactly. who's black, to say, exactly. hey, don't just be supporting this mm -hmm. and you ain't making sure... she yeah, signed right? off on this there deal. That's right. That's what I was going to say. The exactly. bid, whoever that bid came from, it should have had that in there already. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't even have this conversation. Right. Well, I'm glad to see all of them. We're going to try to get them on the show, talk more about this here. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, so a lot of y'all always asking me about terms, some of the pocket squares that I wear. Now, I don't... Now, Robert don't have one on. Nope. Now, I don't particularly like the white pocket squares. I don't like even the silk ones. And so I was reading GQ magazine a number of years ago and I saw uh, this guy who had this this pocket square here and it looks like a flower. Uh, this is called a shibori pocket square. This is how the Japanese manipulate the fabric to create this sort of flower effect. So I'm going to take it out and then place it in my hand so you see what it looks like. And I said, man, this is pretty cool. And so I tracked down the, it took me a year to find a company that did it. Uh, and so uh, they basically about 47 different colors. And so I love them because again, as men, we don't have many assets to wear, so we don't have many options. Uh, and so this is really a pretty cool uh, pocket square. Now, what I love about this here is you saw uh, when it's uh, in, in the pocket, you know, it gives you that flower effect like that. But if I wanted to also, unlike other, because if I flip it and turn it over, it actually gives me a different type of texture. And so therefore it gives me a different look. 
So there you go. So uh, if you actually want to uh, get one of these Shibori pocket squares, we have them in 47 different colors. All you got to do is go to rollingthismartin.com forward slash pocket squares. All right, so first of all, that graphic is way too small. So uh, tomorrow we're going to run it right down here all across the screen. So it's rollingthismartin.com forward slash pocket squares. All you got to do is go to my website uh, and you can actually uh, get this. Now, for those of you who are members of our Bring the Funk fan club, there's a discount for you to get our pocket squares. That's why you also got to be a part of our Bring the Funk fan club. Uh, and so that's what we want you to do. And so it's pretty cool. So if you want to jazz your look up, you can do that. In addition, uh, y'all see me with some of the feather pocket squares. My sister who's a designer. She actually makes these. They're all custom made. So when you also go to the website, you can also order one of the customized uh, feather pocket squares uh, right there at rollingsmartin.com forward slash pocket squares. So please do so. And of course, uh, at goes to support the show. And again, if you're a Brenda Funk fan club member, you get a discount. This is why you should join the fan club. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video. You want to check out Roland Martin Unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.